Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to SkylanderNuts.com. I'm here with Lias today to take a look at another Skylanders Trap Team villain. We've got Peñata loaded up in a trap and we're ready to show you his quest and uh, take a look at his moves. Are you ready, buddy? Yep. Alright, let's get back in the game. We're in about the middle of the 10th level, the Secret Sewers of Supreme Stink. And we're here kind of at this... Uh, during the normal gameplay, you get to this part where you have to jump over these um, rivers with floating, I don't know what those are, floating, Sorry. just platforms, kind of like Frogger to get to the other side. But uh, this first row of floating platforms, we're going to jump on and then ride it to the left there. As you can see where it's kind of going into a, I guess a secret area maybe. If you yeah. didn't see it. If you don't, we're already over kind of to the left. But if you go back to the right a little bit, this, you know, you kind of come in right through here. And you don't really notice it over there on the left. But if you go over to the left, you can see that there's something over there. So, all right, buddy. Go ahead and jump on one of those things and ride it to that section of the well, left. Well, I jumped like in that too. Yep, just wait. Don't fall in the goo. Let's should find our Peñata quest over here somewhere. Now I will jump. Yep, now, is that Gilman go down there? Oh, it's the Bones guy. Never mind. Go Don't up. Don't bring your evil surface germs down here. Just Peñata's quest. Yeah, talk to him. He's got Peñata's quest. Besides playing in the Skeletons, I also manage a few other bands, including the Gecko Chorus. They just cut a hot new single and need to deliver it to the Capybara King. Only problem is they're all freaked out about going there. Got across some real dangerous territory, and the only one they trust as an escort is the Peñata. <laughs> kind of weird, but hey, I just try to keep the talent happy, you dig? All right, so we got Pinata in the trap. We'll put him on now. It looks like you have another yep. quest to do, buddy. Looks like you're gonna have to do something again. Pinata. Who wants candy? Now those suckers. Are hey, thanks for coming, Pinata. I'm in the I'm real right. bind here, and you're the only one who can help me help my gecko chorus. Wanna go see what I'm talking about? I'll totally make it worth your while. All right, buddy, you got another quest. You have the luck for getting the actual challenges. Yep. Oh, this should be fun. Peñata is so here's the deal probably my well, overall favorite group, villain. The Gecko Chorus, I like the concept. Finally cut their first single and wanted to deliver it to the Capybara King. He was inspired by him, you know. But they're trapped behind enemy lines and need a big strapping fellow such as yourself to provide escort. Ready to roll. Three, two... Well, I did this one before, but I failed. Alright, buddy. Oh, there is. You're probably gonna have to. Don't let anything happen to you're gonna have to do some attacking. Alright, so there we can start going over King Yada's attacks. His first attack is his lollipop attack. He just basically smashes the ground and anything in front with his lollipop. And it seems to do pretty good damage. It's kind of swatting the chompies like flies, huh? Yeah. All right, follow your uh, gecko chorus there. Do you remember Lizard. them? Do you remember them from the other game? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Smack that guy. Smack him. Whoa, what is that? Fisticuffs? Yeah. Get, get rid of him, buddy. All right, now go follow your course. All right, now he's also got a second attack. Press B button or attack two to fill the air with candy. So do the B button attack, buddy. Oh, look at that. He just kind of fires candy out of his mouth and like a bazooka or a flamethrower, maybe. Do it with these guys, B button. That's pretty cool. It's not very powerful though, is it? Yeah, not very 
All right, get to uh, smacking them again. I think that works a little better. There you go. Look at that. Smack did some critical damage there. All right, they pick up their thing and move on. We got about eight, nine minutes. Doesn't seem to be too much of a challenge. Oh, we gotta go there and get that guy. Yeah, typically we found that in these challenges, the enemies are not the same strength as they are in the game. They're usually a lot easier. A couple hits, no matter how big they are. And you get, get some music in this level, too. You might have to kill that guy up there, buddy. Don't go down too far. So you like smacking instead of uh, using the B button attack? I like the smacking attack. Yeah. Because it does more damage than like the play from attack. It's a little slow, but it's working for you. Like, That's one strong wallet. He got to run fast. He does? Yeah. He, he does, does, doesn't he, kind of, for his size. Alright, is that the only one you gotta do? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, that is just go, buddy. music to my ears. Well, that certainly wasn't you hard. Real yeah, it was easy to promise. I didn't know what the white bag adequately compensated. Uh, Peñata's only got two attacks. He's not a DJ. Doom Raider, so he won't have that third attack. Now, what do you think he's going to evolve into? He's already got every color. I don't know, orange maybe? Thanks he's again, already Daniel, got one from so this will be interesting. Maybe he'll be chorus, swirly the like the Barry King and music fans everywhere. Oh yeah, he's already ready. and here's that reward. All right, well, here we go. We'll find out what happens to him. He's pretty cool looking as he was. Yellow. Well, now he's, yeah, red and yellow. And you get a hat or something. What is that? Trinket hat. Check it out. Hi. Nice hat. Rubber glove hat. Okay. I might put, have to put on that rubber glove to get all the candy out of Pinata. Don't yeah. wear. Don't wear the hat. Yeah, we could use it. All right. Well, let's let's go see. Let's go find some more enemies, buddy, and see how these Good attacks. Enemies. Oh, that's a good question. I guess did you probably something. switch off of him, jump over the edge. It might take a minute to find those enemies. Let's see. Once he's attacked, his lollipops has more pop. Okay. Hey, what's up here? I don't even go up there, bud. You have to jump over the edge. You got to go Whoa, back up. Nope, he can't make it up there either. Go back up to where you were and jump over the edge because you can't ride. You can't ride one of those things back. See that right there? Yeah, jump over that edge. There you go. Now you can make your way back. Haha. <laughs> Pinata's also pretty funny. <sighs> Another challenge. Alright, so go ahead and do that little puzzle. Or go through that. Maybe just go through that wall. You can find some enemies that way. All right, once he's upgraded, his lollipop will have more pop, and he'll have more candy with more pain for his B button attack. So this will be the easy part. Yep. Let's go in it and dodge in it. Hopefully there's some enemies at the bottom here. Woo! There is. To it. There you go. I said woohoo. <laughs> hey, now it's repeating you. <laughs> All right, switch. Switch. Start with the B button attack, buddy. Does it look like more candy? If that 
If that's effective against anyone, it's probably the Chompies, huh? Yeah, it may be effective Now, you're also in an area that is stronger for villains right now. So that, well, that's giving you a plus. This is a little bit stronger, 55 instead of 40. Well, it's not the really plus. Alright, smack them, buddy. Those are bigger guys. Smack the big guys. 176. It just died. 300 for a critical. Oh, look at that. One candy, one uh, lollipop smash smashed off four chompies. That's pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Again, he's not the most strongest. I think Chompy Mage would typically do 300 on a similar attack. Yeah, but Chompy Mage doesn't very do it. Well, he's slower. He does turn into a big giant Chompy. Yeah, but Chaos like, turns into a big giant head. <laughs> that's true. He does. On well, these chompies just keep coming, don't they? You're gonna run out of time with Pinata, and it's not like his time is short. He's got a lot of time. There you go. You did it. Right before my, my time to die. Yep. He's about to. <laughs> That's right. And we're out of time for this review. So, what do you think about Pinata? He's really good because I like. The smack attack. The smack attack. Yeah, it's yeah. not bad. It's it's not anything special, but it it does good amount of damage. I I think his candy fire uh, is pretty fun. It's not extremely useful, but it's a nice way to get rid of those chompies. And when he evolved, his lady pop was evolved too. Oh, it did. Yeah, because it, when it it turned blue. Oh wow. Well, that's pretty cool. I rather like Pinata just from a character perspective i like the fact that he is a uh yeah i like the fact that he is um a pinata and he's got candy and he, he at least when you play against him he explodes into candy i think that's pretty funny yeah. uh using him as a villain he's not he's not bad he's not the best but uh he's fun he's pretty fast for his size he wobbles at a pretty good pace so yeah it, we might use him a little bit more just for the aesthetics and how he looks pretty pretty cool. But um, I think that does it for Peñata. Visit our website at SkylanderNuts.com and we'll have a written review and a score for him. You can see how he compares to some of the other villains that we've reviewed. Um, he's another one with a quest. Elias keeps finding the ones that have actual challenges, though this challenge was yep. pretty easy. Um, but it was still kind of fun. So, all right, until next time, we'll be back again soon with another Skylander villain or character review. And until then, have fun playing Skylanders. Check out our YouTube channel, our giveaways, and everything else we got going on. So we'll see you again soon. Bye.